What are you looking at? This? This is Ebside Striker's turf. Only the upstairs. Don't bother my customers. Fine, upstairs. That's gang territory, got it? This is such bullshit. Yeah, you used to be people were afraid of the strikers. We had a name, got it? Now the disciples got us penned up in this lousy bar. Andrea. Fine, fine, fine. This beautiful establishment. Do you have anything else, or are we done with this? Whatever this is. We were one of the big dogs. We could take what we wanted and no one gave us shit. And Briggs? Total class act. Not a psycho like the disciples. Now look at us. I mean, the strikers will rob you blind, and if you back us in a corner, you're gonna bleed. But the disciples? <laughs> Total nutjob animals. They torture people for kicks. And the only people that kept them from getting out of control? Us. And now we're all but ruined. So you stroll in here and want to meet with Briggs? The nerve. Maybe you should meet with the business end of my shiv, huh, tourist? No blood in my shop, Andrea. I am this close to tossing the lot of you out on the street. Fine, fine already. You're lucky. Only way you see Briggs is if you, uh, <laughs> want to join the Ebside Strikers. You know, I'll just do that. Right now. <sighs> this ought to be good. Sure, let's go meet the boss. Okay. Hello. Yes. I'm zoned out of my mind right now. <laughs> says they might want to join a recruit been a while i know right savage says we can't go killing people around here anymore we shouldn't be doing that anyhow you want to join us we're a gang you understand that right not some daring adventure bullshit you can brag to your friends about we steal we mug we kill if we have to people that come to us have usually run out of options. So are you really interested? There was a time when we were the only ones that kept those psychos in line. But I'll get to that. Let me tell you about us. What makes the Strikers different is we're family. It's us against every goddamn thing the world can throw at us. If you're in, we'll go through hell and back for you. It's been a little too much of that hell going round. Vogel, not the time. We do everything we can to make sure everyone's got a roof overhead and fish in their belly. I prefer we fleece the marks, not kill them. Better for everyone in the long run. But you do what you gotta do. Not so fast. I gotta get to know you first. What would you bring to the Strikers? Very useful. I like it. Done anything special? Something that might impress us. <laughs> sure you are. Just don't tell Hatchet that. <laughs> that girl worships the Mantis. <laughs> I'm not sure what your game is, but if you really want to join, there's a test. You're going up against the Disciples. Everyone in Ebside's been chewed up and ground up by Neon. Some people snap and snap hard. The Disciples are maniacs, pure and simple. The test is to find out who has been arming those nutjobs with military-grade hardware. 
We're fully in alignment there. There's a warehouse they use. One of our friends said there's a slate there that has the info we need. Well, that's my job. I was going to go in and make them pay. You want it? Too bad, Vogel. You go in there, and it's a bloodbath. I want someone that can snatch it from them. Ideally with them never even knowing it happened. Consider this your audition. Try not to get killed, new fish. What can I get you today? Taking down shop owners is all good. This up, if the disciples spot you, they're gonna attack straight away. <laughs> so you did the job, and nobody had to die. That was one hell of an audition. So you're in. Everyone thinks the Ebside Strikers are out for the count. But now that we know where the disciples are getting their guns, I feel the tide is turning. Trying to score points with the boss. <laughs> Smart play, new fish. You might want to say hello to the rest of the gang. They should be friendlier, or I'll make them friendlier. After you take some deserved R&R, &R, hit a patch it for any gear you may need, and a job I got in mind for you. Yeah. 